come in. Hey, Hanky, thanks for having us. Hey, my pleasure. Welcome. So tell us about your new place. Yeah, this new property of ours is called the Henry Suites Miranila. Now it's um, seven suites and we are in an estate called the Miranila Estate. So in the compound, there are um, it, there is a um, events place called Bizu, called uh, Blue Leaf, two restaurants by Bizu, a museum and a library, a wedding chapel, and of course, our property. It's called the Henry Suites Miranila. Come, I'll show you one of our rooms. Cool, it's a one-stop shop for all your events. Exactly, so every property we have a tagline. And the tagline for this property is to celebrate life's momentous occasions. And that's why you know, it, they are designed this way. So it's very spacious. It's meant for brides to be here. It's meant for groups to be to enjoy and celebrate life. Nice room, it's so cozy. Thank you. Uh, it's really designed this way. We've, we always work with um, an interior designer. His name is called Eric Paras. He's such an amazing interior designer. And, he, and he's able to use existing furniture and repurpose them, right? And, and bring them basically back to modern times. Can you tell us more about repurposing in your business? Oh, repurposing is a big part of who we are, right? So it talks about, um, uh, because one of our uh, brand pillars is called the uh, sense of place, right? So, and that, what, it, that is what makes us like no other, right? Nice. So that is, our, that is the company's tagline, like no other. And one of the pillars is really sense of place, right? So we use furniture, we use design that evokes the sense of place, what we call character and soul, right? And that's um, our unique setting proposition. That's how, set, that's how the brand sets itself apart from everybody else. We definitely could feel the soul. So this wasn't your first business. What made you pivot to this industry? Ah, I was in... Uh, um, before hospitality, I was into food, F&B. Um, my business is called um, uh, Yellow Cab Pizza, right? So Yellow Cab Pizza Company. And that was my uh, business before. And actually, it's not a pivot. Um, I exited. Um, I exited because I sold to a listed company. And then after that, I took a leap of faith and went into hospitality because, you know, we're entrepreneurs, right? And you know, we, we look at opportunities and I saw opportunity in the hospitality space, right? Something that for a unique uh, Filipino brand. So, Hanky, what's your favorite thing about this room? This room? Yes. Ah, come, show you. So this is my favorite part of this room. Ooh, a surprise. It's the balcony. With this amazing view, look at this. Imagine waking, waking up to it in the, in the morning, right? And imagine your backdrop is an almost 100-year-old house. It's a 1929 house by, by the Benitezes called Miranila, which is the centerpiece of the estate. Wow. So how do you choose your locations? Our locations? Wow. God sends them our way, really. Yes, I'm, we're so blessed to have these locations. Nice. So would you say you have a favorite? Yes, I do. I, have, I do have a favorite. And you know what my favorite is? It's always the last one. Come, let me show you some more rooms. So, Hanky, how is the pandemic like for you? The pandemic? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, two words come to mind. One is uh, challenging. Um, you know, when March 2020 hit, it was supposed to be our best year ever, right? And um, during March 2020, what happened was, you know, all our numbers from being so very healthy became zeros in just, in just a flash. And that was really a challenging uh, moment for me. Um, it was one of my deepest valleys, actually. Um, but the other word is actually gift. Um, the gift of the pandemic. So that's how I look at it now. Um, the, it's been a gift, it's been a blessing because we were able to change our business model um, to that of management, right? So now we manage uh, boutique hotels and resorts and this is one of them. And this is actually our third property that we opened 
during the pandemic. That's beautiful. So where do you see your company in 10 years? In 10 years? Ah, easy. Uh, my big, hairy, audacious goal is actually to open 30 properties all over the Philippines. Right? All over the Philippines, from Batanes all the way down to Zamboanga. And by that time, in 10 years, my hope, my prayer, is that we'll also be um, present regionally in Asia Pacific, bringing, bringing to Asia Pacific the renowned Philippine hospitality. Oh, we look forward to that. So Me too. Where's your favorite place to be? Easy. By the beach. Nice. Who's your biggest inspiration? Easy. Actually, it's my wife. You know, um, it's, it's such a blessing to have someone who completely supports you, who compliments you, and who truly, truly loves you, no matter what your imperfections are. Oh, so who or what makes you laugh? Who makes me laugh? Yeah. It's actually my eldest daughter. You know, she's actually very, very similar to me. Right, so it's very, very similar to me in character. Um, you know, I'm I have a sense of humor, and she also have a sense of humor. Our sense of humor is physical, and hers is too. Right, come on. So, what's your typical day like? I have no typical day. What do you do when you're not working? Exploring. Actually, that's what I like to do. I like to explore new places, places that I've never been to, right, and that stokes my creativity. Come on. Do you have any or many guilty pleasures? Guilty pleasures? Yes, I can think of two. So one of them is traveling. Again, is to stoke the mind, you know, to learn new things, experience new cultures, even within the Philippines, especially within the Philippines, and sleeping. Ooh, that's why right? we see a nice bed there. So yes. what would you tell your younger self? None really. Nice. So would you say you have anyone or anything that you're living for? Oh yes, I do. I have someone who I'm living for. And it's actually our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? It is He who I live for. It is He who I serve. Oh. Can you tell us what you're most grateful for in life? I'm most grateful for actually my family, right? So I told you about my, my spouse, her name is Chris, and actually my three children whom God has blessed me with. Three beautiful children named uh, Justine, Sasha, and Ethan. Come, I'll show you another secret. Come. Wow, another- Another money shot, another balcony. Nice. So, Hanky, we're down to the last question. Can we you are? tell us? Yeah. So fast, time flies when you're having fun. Mm -hmm. So can you wow. tell us what you're most grateful for in EO? Oh wow, um, what I'm most grateful for in EO is actually to find this, this tribe of like-minded members who, who have the same, who have these four, sorry, five values of uh, trust and respect, um, growing together, think big, be bold, uh, cool, and thirst for learning. So find these members, this tribe, and to journey with them in life, right? In a, in a space where there is non-judgment, right? And I, that's why I really love EO. That's why I stepped up to serve before. Yes, you are a president. So, Mr. President, thank you for gracing us with your presence. And thank you for having us. My, my pleasure. Thank you for celebrating EO's 25 years with us. Happy 25th anniversary, EO. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye.